Hey, Dr. Drew. This is, I'm a 23-year-old male from Kansas. I was just wondering, how important is attraction? Because I know there's always that bullshit of, like, looks don't matter or whatever, but there's this girl I was seeing for a little bit that was super awesome, really dope. Like, we vibed out. Everything was great. We had sex one time when I was drunk, but every time we hung out sober, she just, I didn't find her attractive, really. And there was just no, like, uh, no desire to have sex with her. And eventually that kind of killed things, and I let it, like, die off and everything. Is that wrong? Is, is, is Do looks really not matter in a relationship, or is being sexually attracted to your partner All right, got an it. essential part? Because that's what would make sense. I don't know if I can know. All right. Keep bettering it, brother. We'll see you later. You, we will indeed. I, it sounds like they could have worked that out because it doesn't sound like this guy is ever not drunk. Yeah, this yeah. dude is. <laughs> this dude. Yeah, I mean, maybe he had a few minutes where he woke up there and sort of went, "What have I been doing?" He went right back in. So I, I'm more concerned about that man than your than uh, your relationship with that woman. But okay, uh, and maybe he's going to start a new trend where people get drunk and call this show. But leave voice message. It sounds like when he said he wasn't attracted to her was when he was sober. Yeah, so he just correct. met her through beer goggles. Yes, correct. So to, in order for their relationship to continue, he just has to be an alcoholic. That's what I'm saying. He, and yeah. he's, he's, got that, he's got that in hand. He's, yeah, he's yeah. good with that. But to, to, to get a little more serious about it, um, using buddies kind of get, you know, she's probably drunk too. You know, the right. using buddies can have a lot of sort of a, it's not really attraction. It's almost like shared, like they're sharing something. Right, right. And in that, the using together, they have sort of a communion that they find appealing and get some high and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so it's not that's not really attraction per se. But it's really, it's, it's an interesting question, right? Mm -hmm. So how important is attraction in, in a relationship? And this is a, and I don't think there's a right or wrong, it's, I'll frame it by, I don't right. think there's a right or wrong answer because people are all over the place with this stuff. Right. But what do you say? It, I mean... So you, you brought up an interesting point about using buddies, yeah. which, you know, could mean anything. Could be something bad or it could be something good. Like a couple could like uh, uh, theme parks together. Yeah. And that's the thing that keeps them together. Yeah, that's right. Just going to the, or traveling or, you know, drugs or a specific drug, doing that together and looking forward to moments like that, like Molly. So, or they could just be in love. Some people don't even know why they're in the relationship could be one of those things or it could be some some, the some vestige is, of the past it just fits you know yeah, some, something's fits. working so it's, it's so so let's think about this mm -hmm. so so what we're both saying is something's got to glue people together right right and and sometimes one of the things that happens when people have been together for a long time is they've built a life together and so they have mm -hmm. all kinds of things that they share because of that even mm -hmm. though it might not have been too strong at the beginning it becomes strong because of the life they've built together right. and the kids they love and the experiences they have and that kind of thing that's what they hope with arranged marriages and it but that's why that works. works yeah, yeah. it kind of works i i wouldn't wish that on somebody but mm -hmm. it does work um but but i i really feel very strongly that there's got to be something something you right. know and and sexual attraction and attraction is sort of the most common i would say wouldn't you say right it and whatever that something is it's got to be something that you wake up every day you know, remembering, experiencing, excited about, whatever it might be that you mm -hmm. want to be with that person in some sort of, I call it renewing or glue. It's like there's, there's a renewal that's always there. And whatever that thing was there at the beginning, mm -hmm. just like back to alcoholism again, it's like recovery. I used to say it's recovery from alcoholism. Like like today, I didn't drink. Today, I'm, I'm excited about this person. Today, I'm into it. And mm -hmm. probably tomorrow, you will be. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Unless there's something about it that is truly flimsy, that it will just sort of melt away. I don't know what that would be. His voicemail sounded totally flimsy. Yeah. And I feel like him calling drunk means that he also left some important shit out. Oh, about sure. Like, <laughs> like, oh, sure. Like she could have broke up with him. <laughs> right, right. And right. he's playing it off like right. he broke up with her. Right. Or maybe she got sober and he's not attracted to her. It was like, I'm not dating this sober chick. Or, or and, when she's know. sober, she starts calling out some of his bullshit. Right, right. Yeah. So, his his voicemail can be taken with like it's almost like how 
it's like looking at a CIA redacted report. Yes. With all the lines through, drawn through. You, well, in a, in a, where's, in a, where's the full report? In, in a way, that was like your your history you gave me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Carefully I left redacted. Some shit out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> left much shit out. Yeah. Yours was like, we'll leave this chapter. I will just start over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's like, an important chapter. Yeah, it's, it's like I'm I'm a different human being to you if I leave all that shit out. Yeah, we, to me, yeah, yeah it's yeah, true yeah, completely. But but there's but embedded in here is a really important question, and and it's something I think a bit about. I, I think it's not superficial. He said it was superficial to rely on a, attraction, whatever that is. It's all kinds of attraction too. I mean, people mm -hmm. it can be attracted just sexually without having, you know, feeling the person is necessarily beautiful or anything like that. They're just, mm -hmm. somehow there's a thing there. Um, I think it's important. I, I think to minimize it and to, and to sort of call it something superficial and uh, I mean it's it's I'm not saying everyone sh has to feel that but right. I, if somebody does feel that it shouldn't be um, dismissed they can be I think it can be an important glue in a relationship mm -hmm. yeah yeah at least I, I agree with you 100 percent and at least in the beginning like the attraction might keep you get you there and make you spend the time to get to know the person yes and then you could that, fall that, in love with that part and, of the person and in, a, in a healthy relationship yeah. that must happen then too that right. must also be there or else it does not work out right. I, i've noticed something else i've never talked about here i don't think um when you know men will sometimes men you know each man has his own sort of sweet spot right you can always tell each you have a certain type and a certain this and a certain that mm -hmm. and when he finds a female partner I'm, I'm talking about heterosexual couples mm -hmm. who um he is into like really into and can say will say things like this is the love of my life mm -hmm. sometimes the women like that adoration so much <laughs> that that's what is glue is glue for them right i i've seen couples like that where the the woman is so um turned on right. by his being so turned on by her yeah that's it and men don't do that i, don't, I haven't seen the opposite i haven't seen a, a, a man do that like i agree with you like uh I'm from New York, so <laughs> one of the places I'm from. <laughs> so, well, for everybody else, you're from there. <laughs> I'm from New York. I'm from New York, y'all. <laughs> Worked in the Burger, Burger King in Long Island. Got the Burger King. <laughs> you know, people Spokes. here don't don't appreciate how huge Long Island is. They they think of it as just some, some little suburb. It's it, shit. How yeah. many? It must be three million people on that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's fucking big. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, you're saying I'm from New York. Yeah, I'm from New York, so. Like words mean nothing to New Yorkers. Like you have to sh prove it to me. Like don't tell me you love me. Show me you love me. Interesting. You know. So as a guy, like I'm into like showing women I care for them. How do you do that? Uh, just, just listening, going places, spending time. But sometimes that hasn't been good enough. Like. So, I so uh, this say, is important. So, yeah. so you mean focusing on them and Focus. listening to them and just and just and and then responding accordingly with what you hear, right? Yeah, and spending time with them and yep. going places with yep. them, and uh, but then, you know, but I would find that what's more effective was like telling them how you feel about them as opposed to showing. Well, that's interesting, and mm -hmm. and a lot of people have trouble doing that. Yeah, and that's me. Yeah, because I'm like I'm it's from New York. Too. I'm showing you. I feel like there's more value in showing you. Like anybody can tell you anything, but the person who's showing you really means it. We're going to an interesting place here. Mm -hmm. So, so, so I, I like you. It feels uncomfortable to, mm -hmm. to gush, right? And riddle me this. Tell me if this is not true for you. Mm -hmm. When you see another male gushing, you think he's manipulating her. What's he up to? Yeah, it could be manipulated. You, like, you immediately think yeah. that's what he's up to, right? Why is he, why is he doing that? He, like, come on, that's not, they, it doesn't feel right to me. Mm -hmm. Isn't that weird? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if me. they manipulate or not, but it feels like something, something's not right. Something's up. Yeah, exactly. Women shouldn't trust that. Yeah, because anybody can tell you anything, but somebody who does it really means it. And especially when you live in LA, where people promise you things you didn't ask them for yeah. and then don't deliver. Yeah. You're like, and you just, it's like, I just rather somebody show me.